Greetings. I am pleased to talk to you about the Master of Science in Information Science with a concentration in Health Informatics and Health Sciences Librarianship. I am Anna Cleveland, Director of the Health Informatics Program. And my research interests are around the area of health information seeking behavior, disaster information management, social media and health information, educational health information professionals, and a large bulk of my work having an indexing of medical literature. At the current time, I'm looking at the COVID-19 literature and how it is presented in, diff in different databases, as well as in websites of health sciences institution. Also, we're looking at COVID-19 in tweets. As an introduction, let me say that the healthcare is information and data driven, and our program is based on the premise that you can have an impact in patient care and on population health. It is a dynamic area guided by technological advances contributing to a better healthcare system. Healthcare is a global concern. It deals with clinical issues such as the care in pandemics, research issues such as understanding of genetics and molecular medicine, and social issues, as, as we have been hearing so much recently about health disparities. And let's not forget about technological issues such as data management and analytics. In our concentration, there we really focus on educating two types of information professionals. Let's talk about the first group health informatics individuals. These individuals support the infrastructure of the healthcare profession from education, research, to patient care. What makes it exciting and challenging is the broad range of healthcare providers involved in the domain that we call health. It is an interdisciplinary field and it has been developed in different specialties, such as medical informatics, dental, nursing, pharmaceutical, informatics, and so on, depending on the focus of the application. Systems and methods for managing health data and information are crucial to the practice of healthcare and in the clinical decision-making process. And our program provides opportunities to learn about this. Closely related to health informatics is health sciences librarianship. The organization access and delivery of information at the point of need is a driving factor to what we call librarians or health information professionals. They support research and education as well. These individuals are information managers, providing information to the healthcare provider and to the consumer of health information services, such as patients and caregivers and others. You may see different titles for their work, such as clinical informationist, clinical librarian, consumer health librarians, and so on. So where do these individuals that we have just been talking about work? Well, you might find a job in academic health sciences centers, and they can also be specific in medical schools, nursing schools, nursing um, in the academic components of the health sciences centers, hospital, pharmaceutical companies, industry, doing, for example, software development, dealing with the creation of medical devices or testing medical devices, et cetera. Research facilities or government agencies, such as the National Library of Medicine, the National Institutes of Health, the CDC, et cetera, and other as well, other settings. So what um, this information professional do? Well, in this slide and in the next slide, you will get a snapshot of where is it that you're going to um, working as well as what will you be doing? And so you might be providing information. You might be making rounds with the clinical team. You might be working electronic, electronic resources and dealing with decision uh, support tools uh, for the electronic health record. And like I said, you have this slide on the next one, which allow you to see the wealth of tasks and activities that you might be involved. One 
another thing about our concentration we want you to know is that we are accredited by the American Library Association and we rank seventh in the nation about the, by the US and World Report. So let's talk a little bit about now about the general requirements for this concentration. And there are basically three components. There are 36 credit hours, graduate credit hours that you, you'll be involved. And above those 36 credit hours, there is an internship that you will have to take. Unless you have officially uh, been granted a waiver, and that depends on your background and your work experience. To complete our program, you will have to finish what we call the capital experience. And at the present time, that's what we call the e-portfolio. It generally takes the students between four and seven semesters to complete our program, depending on the number of courses that they take every semester. Now let's look for a minute more closely to the concentration in health informatics and librarianship. Well, as with the other concentrations, you have a required number of courses, and that is for a total of nine hours. Then we have what is called the guided your guided electives, and these guided electives, they're going to be um, the courses for the information science major. The next component in here is the health informatics librarianship courses that we are going to be looking at the next slide. Here you have four courses, a minimum of four courses that you will be taking in this concentration. And last but not least, you have the general electives, and that is nine credit hours, a total for three classes. And this is more flexible. There's an element of flexibility on what are the courses that you can enroll in here. And we try to tailor these to your career goal and the career path that you want, that you're thinking that you want to go into. In this slide, you see that we have the, uh, the current uh, health informatics and health sciences library of cheap courses that they deal with information management, searching for evidence, disaster, community-based, genomics, medical informatics, and an introduction to health data analytics. This just to mention a few of the courses that we have at the present time. So the question is, why should you select the health informatics, health sciences librarianship concentration with us? Well, first of all, health touches everyone. And if you think about it, you can make an impact in healthcare if you select this concentration. It is extremely rewarding to see that you may have an impact in patient care. For me, it has been a very rewarding career with a lot of satisfaction knowing that I have assisted the healthcare providers as well as the consumer of health information services. There's a wide variety of career opportunities. You may work in a different uh, settings, different work environments, and you might start in one and you might change later on in your career to another one. But we have given you the skills that it is necessary to go within one and the other of these different career opportunities. One of the things that we think is attractive to you, that might be attractive, um, this concentration, is the fact that your background knowledge and your skills, it can be applied in this concentration due to the interdisciplinary nature of the field that you're going to be serving. And lastly, uh, we are going to say that we have a number of professional associations, such as the American Medical Informatics Association and the Medical Library Association, just to name a few, that have opportunities for student support, professional development, and for networking. We hope you join us. We look forward to welcome you in the Health Informatics, Health Sciences Librarianship concentration. Thank you.